Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome back there my dear friends, a very good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all of you and this is the DADM 2 which is data analysis and decision making course under the NPTEL MOOC series. And uh, this uh, course which is for 12 weeks which is for 30 hours and each week we have um, uh, 5 lectures, each lecture being for half an hour. And uh, after each um, uh, week we have assignments and we are at the last day for the fourth lecture which is the 20th lecture. And you, as you remember I am not using um, uh, slides uh, for this particular uh, class for the last um, class also because the diagram was so huge that it was much better for me to draw it in word and then share in a PDF format and, and do the analysis accordingly. My name is Raghunandan Sengupta from the IME department IIT Kanpur from India. So, I will start with the same um, slide where I left in the 19th lecture. So, I will just recap very fast. So, you had a company and the company wanted to uh, is in oil production. So, if it in oil production it can either do nothing that means the it is not a profitable business. So, obviously, this arm would be true. I, I have already highlighted, so I am not going to again put any other colors. So, I will just hover the pen accordingly. So, this is the, the, the arm where you do nothing. Another case can be where you drill, but the drill um, uh, arm would be given by D11 and if you drill, obviously you find the structure to be dry wet soaking. And the, the probabilities which I mentioned in the last class, I will come to that later. And the values uh, which with net present values was minus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.8 plus 2.4 are giving out for the dry wet soaking. Now, let us go through the uh, values of probabilities. I will mark the probability uh, highlight them using a different color. So, let me use the orange one. So, in you can differentiate. Now, if you see the drill for part, what does it mean? In the drill part, you immediately go into the drill. So, there is no conditional aspect that means, you did not conduct any test or you did not basically do some experiment or did not do any uh, marketing survey or something nothing was done you immediately go went to the drill. So, the drill factor whatever probabilities are given are unconditional. So, if they are unconditional the mark the probabilities the probabilities are point half which is 0.5, one fourth which is 0.25 one fourth which is 0 0.25. Now, remember these values if you remember in the in the um, uh, table. So, I think I should come back to the table again if I am if I am a little bit slow going repeating it please bear with me. The values which were there 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.25 are the unconditional probabilities of a dry wet and soaking and that is exactly what we have drawn in the diagram which is dry wet soaking hence the probabilities are given as 50 percent 25 percent 20 25 percent. Now, come so this total arm I am just marking it without uh, putting any color this whole arm is is has been delineated nicely with the probabilities and the net present values and what are the arms. Now, consider you conduct the test. So, when you conduct the test this is given as D 1 2 and when you conduct a test you have already incurred some money and if you remember I did mention that value incurred is 20,000. So, it is 0 0.02 with a red color that means it is negatives it is cost which is going out of your pocket. Now, when you conduct the test you found out there were three, stru three structures of the geophysical properties no, stru no structure one was open structure 
and another was basically found out to be closed structure. So, the arms are this once you reach let me mark it, it will be easy for us to. So, this was D 1 1. So, let me mark it. So, this becomes C 1. So, that is why C 1 1, C 1 2, C 1 3. This becomes C 2, this becomes C 3, this becomes C 4, this becomes C 5. So, it will be easy for us to mark now and the D 1, D 2, D 3, D 4 are already marked. So, hence it was mentioned C 1 1, C 1 2 and C 1 3. Now, coming back to this arm where you do not con you conduct test. So, no structure you see the problem the arm is C 2 1 and the probability is given as 4 by 10. So, from where does this probability 4 by 10 come? It means that you have conducted the test and no structure was found. So, let us go back. So, conducted the test, no uh, structure was found, probability was given as 0 0.4. So, this is the probability which is have, which is 4 by 10. You conducted the test and it found an open structure. So, these are unconditional, they were not predefined by anything and conducting the test was an, uh, a thing which you have done with probability 1. So, the probability for open structure if you see was 0 0.3 which is 3 by 10, let us check it is 0 0.3, yes it is 0 0.3. Similarly, when you go for a closed structure and open structure and closed structure probability the same. If you go there, the probabilities for the closed structure is 3 by 10 and for, for open structure is also 3 by 10, 3 by 10, 3 by 10, 0 0.3 and these arms are C 2 2 and C 2 3. Now, when you when you have considered these, so obviously it means that you have considered no structure, open structure and closed structure and then in another under each scheme you drill or do nothing. So, if you drill which is basically for the first case no structure and drill is D 2 and then you arrive at C 3. So, at C 3 again you find out that is uh, the, the dry or a wet or a soaking well. Now, the probabilities which are given are to be noted down carefully. So, the arms are C 3 1, C 3 2 and C 3 3 and the probabilities are corresponding to the fact 4 fifth, 1 tenth, 1 tenth and why they are so, so let me mark them yellow color 4 fifth, 1 tenth, 1 tenth. Now, let us consider what decision do you go through, no structure and then you drill. So, let us go here. <coughs> no structure and then you found out. So, no structure is the this column which you have. So, find out what are the properties 0 0.32 by 0 0.4. So, as I said that if it is no structure and then it is dry, so the probabilities would be Four fifth. If you find out no structure wet, value would be similarly when it is no structure soaking, value is one tenth. So, mark these values four fifth, one tenth, one tenth. Four fifth can also be written as. 8 by 10 in order to make the denominator same. So, let us see whether they match, yes they match. So, if it is no structure then, and then you find a dry well it was 4 fifth which is 8 by 10, 
then if you find out uh, no structure drilled and find out wet the probability was one tenth then you find no structure soaking the probability was one tenth so the probabilities are given as four fifth one tenth one tenth which is the condition probabilities as found out and given in the the, the matrix which was there the values which were there the present values were again I am repeating was minus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.8 plus 2.4 and obviously one arm which is D22 is that do not drill do nothing. Now come to the case when it is open structure. So, if it is open structure again you drill which is D31 and you do not drill which is D32. If you drill again you have dry wet soaking the returns net present value being for dry wet soaking being minus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.8 plus 2.4 and the probabilities are given. So, let me first highlight the probabilities half one third one third. So, this is for the case when you have open structure let us go back open structure. So, the values are without doing the calculation 0.15 by 0.3 which is 15 by 30 which is half, 0.1 by 0.3 which is 1 by 3 um, uh, is one third and then again value of 0 0.05 by 0 0.3 which will come out to be 5 by 30 which will be 1 by 6. So, values are as I mentioned half 1 by 3, 1 by 6 are the Conditional probability is based on the fact open structure has been found out and then you find after drilling you find out dry wet soaking and then D 3 2 is basically you do not drill. Finally, come to the closed structure when I am hovering my electronic pen there once you drill you find out dry wet soaking which is D 4 1 because D 4 is basically the arm uh, decision which you reach once you have conducted the test and then found out closed structure and then you are drilling and another D 4 2 is basically you do not drill. Now, for dry wet soaking the probabilities are given I am just repeating and I will come back again 1 tenth len by 30 16 by 30 let us see how they are obtained. So, this is open uh, closed structure closed structure is the right, rightmost column. So, the corresponding values are 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.3 it will be 3 by 30 which is 1 by 10, weight will be 11, 0.11 by 30 is 11 by 30 and soaking would be 0.16 by 0.3 which will be 16 by 30 which is 8 by <coughs> 15. So, obviously 8 by 15 I just simplified it. So, if you check <coughs> the values are exactly as I mentioned 0 0.110, 0 0.1 by 10, 11 by 30, 16 by 30. And the net present values are as mentioned for uh, the for this arm also when you find out uh, dry wet and soaking are minus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.8 plus 2.4. Now, with these values given you have to do the decision uh, take a decision and the decisions uh, are to be taken in such a way that the vertical green lines which I have drawn are the stages at which you will take the decision. Now, with the diagram clear I will now start the calculation. Remember one thing there are many simplistic assumptions which I have assumed, but uh, I am trying to give you a feel that how you can utilize that accordingly. Remember one thing for all these problems both for the first part and this problem we are only taking expected value as the best criteria of making decision. It can be a uh, suppose that say for example, you have the variance also. So, I want to basically rank them with respect to the mean and the and the variance or the expected value and the variance it can be I basically rank them with, with respect to the ratio of expected value by variance rank them from the highest to the lowest and take it accordingly or it can be I want to find out the reverse like if you remember when you took the D A we took the concept of efficiency and maximize it and in other case we took the inverse of the efficiency and minimized it. So, in this case we can take the ratio of the variance to the expected value rank them from the lowest to the highest and take the one which is the lowest they can be different combinations. So, I am only going through the simplistic part of expected value. Now, let us go to the calculations. So, before the calculation so solutions. So, at C 1 
you are take you are going to take C1 is the upper arm where you have not conducted any test, you just went to the drilling and the probabilities were given as 50 percent, 25 percent, 25 percent. Net present values was minus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.8 and 2.4, the probabilities were given. So, this value was minus was there and plus was there for other two arms, probabilities were given, I will just utilize uh, a yellow color, probability is given as 50 percent, 25 percent, 25 percent, the value comes out to be 0 0.5. So, the 0 0.5 value is at this stage, this whole arm. This is point, the value which we calculated, which is 0 0.5. Now, let us go, I am just hovering, um, going up and down, so please bear with me. At C 3, so where is C 3? So, this is arm, this is arm is C 3. So, how do we do? I multiplied 4 fifth into minus 0 0.6, 1 tenth into plus 0 0.8, 1 tenth into 2.4. So, let us see whether it comes like that. So, again the values are minus, this is plus, plus probabilities are given. So, I should use a different color to give the answer, let it be green, no, sorry, 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 sorry. Now, note down one thing, okay. now note down one thing which I should mark. So, I am going to give the answers in green, but mark it accordingly and why I am doing that you will understand. This value 0 0.5 which was the first term C 1 which was here is positive. So, I will mark with the blue circle. Now, let us check C 3. So, the C 3 values were we calculated uh, 4 fifth into minus 0 0.6, 1 tenth into plus 0 0.8, 1 tenth into plus 2.4. If we calculate the value comes out to be minus of 0 0.16, which should be marked with red because this is negative. So, now when I compare, I will go one by one. So, when I compare this one I have a value of plus 0.5. So, I, I think I should note it down for better understanding. So, this value for C 3 comes to be minus 0 0.16. When I come to, so I have to come to C 4 now. So, C 4 value is here again minus this is the value net present value, these are plus 0 0.8 and 2.4 and the values are given half one third one six. What is this half one third one six are the probabilities if you see half where I am hovering the yellow uh, colored pen half one third one sixth. So, these are the probabilities I multiply them the value comes out to be 0 0.367 0 0.37 consider, but this is also positive. So, I can mark with the, the color blue. So, 0 0.37 consider 0 0.37 is coming. So, I go take this So, it will be, I am only taking two paces of decimal 3 7, then I go to C 5. So, C 5 I go down. So, probabilities are given as minus 0 0.6, not the probability, the values plus 0 0.8, 2.4. 
one tenth, eleven thirty, sixteen thirty. So these are the properties which you have already calculated. One tenth, eleven tenth, sixteen and thirty using the condition prior values. And the value which you find out comes out to be one point five. This is positive. So a circle with a blue color. So this one. Answer to be uh, 1.51. So, these I have marked as blue. Now, if you see, now you have to take a decision. So, if you want to take a decision, how would you do that? First, I will explain and then come to the calculation. So, for C2, if I take, I will compare C3 with respect to D22. So, obviously, when I take the expected value, it was minus 0 0.16 and the other value for do not do anything, do not drill is 0. So, obviously, I would not do anything. So, this whole arm C 3 would be not there, because we would not consider, because then it is a negative value. If I compare C 4, C 4 is plus 0 0.37, when I compare with do not drill, it is 0. So, obviously, it is positive, I will take 0.37 as positive and consider that. And when I take the values of C 5, the C 5 value would be, is already 1.51, I will consider that, when I, because if, when I consider that with respect to do not drill, it is positive. So, 1.51 will be considered. So, the first arm has 0, second arm has 0.37, third arm has 1.54. But when I go into the last stage, last stage means here for this case, when I consider C 2, C 2 is going to consider 0 with a probability of 4 10, because that is the st no structure probability has been found. 0.37 with a probability of uh, 3 by 10 and 1.51 with a probability of 3 by 10. So, 3 by 10, 3 by 10 and 4 by 10 are corresponding to the probabilities which have been found out unconditional one. These are these values. That means, no structure, open structure, closed structure corresponding to the fact whether they are dry, wet, soaking does not matter. This is unconditional. So, hence the decision would be at D 2, it is minus 0 0.16. So, this is as given and, and no do not drill is 0. So, D 2 has a negative value. So, we would not take it at D 3, which is already given here. We have calculated the value comes out to be 0.37. I am only taking two places of decimal at D 4. I am just hovering going up and down. So, again I am requesting please bear with me at uh, the value of D 4, which is here, I am considering a value of 1.51 with respect to 0. So, it is 1.513 with respect to 0. So, the net present value at C 2, which is this, as I said, it is 0 into the values of 4 by 10, 0.37 into the probability of 3 by 10 and 1.51 into the probability of 3 by 10. So, let us see it matches 0.4, which is 4 by 10 into 0 because it was negative. So, the whole value was 0. 3 by 10 is or it will be 0 0.367, 0 0.367, 0 0.37. So, this is 0 0.3 by 10 into 0 0.37 and another thing arm, the last arm is this arm is 1.51 into, into probability of 3 by 10, which is exactly here. So, the actual value comes out to be 0 0.564, which is 0 0.57. So, at C 2, the value is 0 0.57. Hence, at the decision trees, we have expected value of D 1 1, D 1 1 is this one, it comes out to be 0.5, which are already calculated. How do we calculate? It is half into minus 0 0.6, 1 fourth into plus 0 0.8, 1 fourth into 2.4, which is given 0.5. Conduct seismic text value is coming out to be 0.544. 544 would be the this this value is 0.564 so i'll take 0.54 and the other arm is zero the zero is basically do nothing is this arm so technically i have 0.5 for this drill if i conduct it miss test it will be my another thing which i missed please bear with me i completely forgot this 564 you have to subtract that value of 0 0.02 which is the sunk cost which you have made for drilling so this value this is not, it is not an error, it is a value which you have found out. 
this will have, have 0 0.564 minus 0 0.02 this value when I find out this comes out to be 0 0.54 and this 0 0.02 is here is here I will just mark it with the, the black. So, this was the value of 0 0.02. So, once I have it, I find out these values. So, based on the above evaluation, I want to find out the find out the set of decision strategies as follows for which you want to take. Now, let us go one by one and through the stages. So, if I follow the stage D12, C21, D22. So, let us see d 1 d 1 2 c 2 1 d 1 2 d 1 2 c 2 1 c 2 1 would be this one and the path which you want to d 2 2 d 2 2 will be this one. So, if I consider the whole path the overall value um, the actual value would be basically 20,000 in the sunk cost which you have already taken. So, if I follow and, and obviously, the probabilities would be given as 0 0.4 which will be given here. This is the probability which I have which is 0 0.4, 4 by 10. If I consider D 1 2 C 2 2 D 3 1 and C 4 1 D 3 1 C 4 1 D 3 1 and C 4 1 this arm. If I consider this the corresponding probability would be the multiplications of probability which we will consider the net present value would be given by 62 6 lakhs 20 thousand depending on the total amount of value which I have. So, if I consider these values accordingly I can find out the table which will give me the overall path their probabilities and the net present values and once we find out the net present values we can calculate it. So, there are few just one or two steps of the calculation left I will try to wrap it up in the 21st lecture and then start of the new concepts as required. With this, I will end the 20th lecture and have a nice day and thank you for all your attention and, have a, and, and stay well. Thank you.